What is going on, folks? Welcome to another live stream of Avio Man. Good evening, everyone. Uh, sorry for the little late start here for a second. Uh, we had some issue with the uh, audio interface here. Uh, I was talking to myself. Uh, and uh, goes right at 115. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on board. Today, we are in beautiful Portland, uh, Oregon, on board the Frontier Airlines the 2914 Airbus 321 Neo by Latin, v Latin VFR with the Horizon uh, mod. We're going to be heading to. Uh, we're going to be heading to Ontario, uh, and that's going to take us a uh, block time about two hours and 21 minutes. Uh, uh, fairly good ride. Uh, um, we expect uh, just a few, um, a uh, little bit of turbulence, light ch light chops uh, on the climb out and uh, just before top of descent. Uh, um, otherwise, the weather looks pretty neat and clear on, on our way to Cali. We are rocking two sceneries, uh, payway sceneries for... Uh, Ontario and uh, Portland, Oregon. Um, after the stream, out, I'll, I'll update the information uh, on the comment box down below and uh, add the links for those uh, for these two uh, sceneries as well. Uh, please let me know how's the video is going. Uh, Voldemort, I'm going straight to sleep again. Welcome aboard. Good to see you here. Um, we are uh, up and live. Uh, today is a Wednesday, so we did try to did try to sleep, stream a little bit early, but of course with work, it's a little bit harder. Uh, we might do a stream tomorrow, and tomorrow I'm planning to do, bring the 737-800 back to life since it's been a while we haven't uh, flown that plane. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how I can't get the Mini FCU to work with the Latin BFR uh, airplane. Uh, they're talking about something about uh, downloading spat.next, which, which you do have to pay for it, so... Uh, we're just going to go like this for now. Flight plan is loaded up uh, uh, onto the MACDU, and we're just going to have to... Every, everyone is loaded up, uh, passengers and cargo, fuel. All we have to do is literally just uh, uh, continue with our um, information here with the uh, MACDU performance uh, calculation and whatsoever. Let's see if I can get also the camera. I managed to get the... Um, I managed to get the uh, tablet to work with my with uh, the fly by wire thing, so we can all see uh, what's happening. And unfortunately, I don't have any wing views on here. We'll have to create them in flight. Uh, let's get some stuff here. MacDo is where you at? There you go. We got the MacDo over here. And I'm going to bring up the camera over here, if it's possible. Voila. I don't know if you can see it. Let's have a look. There you go. I'm going to bring it on now. On the MacD over here. Closer. Uh, probably the reflection is not the best. Got the wind information over here. Continue. Uh, let's go ahead and wind request for the cruising altitude. Next. And then let's get the wind for the descent as well. We're going to change all that. AOC uplink completed. So we should have the flight plan ready to go over here. Yes, we do. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, double check with our performance. With the uh, performance, I think we should be good. Captain G is live as well today. There you go. Bring that value in. And how much fuel do we have? To check on that, let's go ahead and switch over here. Fuel plan. Cargo, fuel, everything. We're full today. Full, full, full. 84. And that is in kilogram, though, correct? And our plane is in what? Let's have a look. I want to make sure that we got the right thing. Is it under realism? No. Team option. Uh, Load. Okay, we go. Sim bridge. No, it's not here. Um, what are we at? Where can we look? 
Aircraft options, maybe? It's in kilogram. Perfect. Lovely. And we say 8.4. And so let's go ahead and put that value in. And that's going to be 8.4 into here. And that's all good. There you go. All the greens are populated. Continue. I'm going to go go ahead and flight plan out for our departure. All right. So today we'll be flying. Let's get this over here. So we all can see. No tank you recommended. Portland route. There you go. The Cascade 2 departure, so I'm going to go ahead for runway 28 right. Let's select 28 right over here on the MacDo Cascade. I think it's Cascade 2. And I believe we have no transition. Is a, it's a Chisholm, and I believe there's no transition on that. So we're going to do no transition. And insert. That has been inserted. Let's continue with the rest of the flight plan. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the charts over here. On my end, uh, I think we already pinned over here. Let's have a look. No, not fears. This one. All right, from taxi already in. Sid uh, Cascade is already in. There you go. All right, so. Cascade departure, 250 at Vanos, uh, and then continue to Toze, and then we'll continue to, I don't know how to say, Kisma, Chisma, and uh, our next waypoint from here is... P-U-H-T-S, which you can't see over here, of course. All right, so uh, anything that we need to know on this departure. Still required to take off minimum, so standard minimums. Refer to the airport runway 3, okay. Um, to it left, to it right, standard or above stand or lower than standard if authorized with minimum climb rate of 500 feet per minute. All good on that side. To it right, climb heading 283, intercept the course 268 to Pecti and then depicted route to Chisholm. From achievement by transition, maintain sign altitude, expect file altitude 10 minutes after. Okay, 10 minutes after departure. All right. So we got what we need over here. Let's go ahead and uh, just brief also the taxi instructions for a brief moment. Okay, so we're looking at over here, 28 right is on to this side. I believe, yep. Let's do it right over here. Okay, um, two aircraft with wingspan greater. Okay, no. We're good over here. There's some plane around us, probably. Um, so we'll be probably doing uh, nose, to, nose to the right, tail to the left. And then we got that information up. It was good to go now over here. Um, let's have a look at into our, there we go. Let's do the performance. Performance. Uh, so, uh, we're going to be flops two, forward slash up 0, 0.0. And, uh, we can do no flag stamp. Let's get V1, 148, rotation 149. V2 is going to be 153. Transition altitude 18,000 feet. Stress reduction 15, 20, 15, 20. Okay. Next. We all got over here. Cost index is 10. We can change it though maybe. Uh, let's change it. Let's go fast. 99. There you go. All right. We are all good over here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, let's get the, where's the overhead, overhead, no. Nah. Let's get the APU start running, okay. 
Comes on, on left side uh, on. Let's go ahead. If you master switch on. I'm right, looking for flap open. Flap is open. And start. If you if you bleed and come on in a moment. Do something very quick. Some feuds going in the meantime here. I think that should be good. Let me know if it's too loud. All right. APU, let's keep a light, keep an eye on that. APU is available. APU bleed can come on. All right, ground to cockpit. We are good to push. Uh, flight attendants uh, are ready for pushback. Uh, it's the uh, cabin ends ready. And okay, let's uh, flight attendants please disarm arm door for departure. And also, we need to get the weather. One thing I forgot. Uh, one zero two seven. There you go. Let's keep it that. Three zero three three. Three zero three three. Very quick. One zero two seven. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and turn on the beacon light. That. There you go. Prepare for pushback and departure. Go ahead and turn on also the rest of the pumps. Cascade 2 to Arnav departure. It doesn't say a minimum, but we could just see Fat Fire Altitude at 10 minutes after. We've got no ATC in the area. I'm going to go ahead and get this to 10,000. So it's going to be nose to the right, tail to the left. Oh, so let's do this. I heard you. Clock. Clock 2000. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Auto ATC, actually. I will. 6603. Zero, 
All right. We're pushing back. Engine start ignition. Starting engine number two. Beautiful. There's an Alaska flight in front of us. Wonder where that guy's going. Park break set. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. I just wanna I wanna go outside for a moment. Wanna get to the wing wing view and get out. Listen to the engine roar on the other side. Okay. Engine to norm. Positive engine start. Let's give it a thumbs up to the friend. Oh, I don't have I beam started. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can get I beam. Unlocking gear. Be my tracker. Give me extension. So look. All right, so it's unlocking the gear. Waiting for a few things, and I'm trying to get the, the I beam tracker to work. All right, we got the confirmation. The 
Yep, thank you. I got that. Oh. All right, I'm ready to go. So hopefully this guy behind us. In front of us, it will let us go. Park brakes off. To max. All right, let's get those lights on. If you off. Uh, thank you. Taxi. Runway turn off. Auto. We're good. Flaps too. It's a little bit more here. Flaps too set. Parking brakes has been released. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Why are we not moving? Uh, let's do a flight control check. I don't full left. Neutral. Full right. Neutral. Elevator full up. Full down. Oh, okay. I was like, not looking. I couldn't see it. Rather full left. Neutral. Full right. Neutral. Chrono on. Give it a little bit of power, I guess. Uh, okay, oh, let's get the unicorn for this. Not unicorn. Let's do the bat. We're in bat them, so. Okay, theta frequency is not available, and they're gonna be using one two two nine five then. Eight is on one two eight three five zero Y. Is tower coming up? Watch it one two eight three five zero. One, two, eight. Three, five, zero. Should I gone the other way? Later. Jet aircraft takes back the mill visual approach. Departing runways two, eight left and two, eight. -er. Notices to air mission. Push back up the text with the Tango and Kilo requires ATC clearance. Advise on initial contact. You have information. Let me put the Portland project. International Airport ATS information Alpha 2353 Zulu. Went 280 at 10. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 5000. Few clouds at 10,000. Temperature 18, 2.0, altimeter 3032, simultaneous visual approaches in use runway 28 left and 28 -er. jet aircraft expect the mill visual approach, departing runway 28 left and 28 -er. notices to air mission, push back onto taxiways tanko and kilo requires ATC clearance, advise on initial contact, you have information alpha. Okay, so it's information alpha. I'm gonna hear it one more time. Portland International Airport ATS information alpha two three five three Zulu. Went two eight zero at one zero. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at five thousand. Few clouds at one zero thousand. Temperature one eight. Two point zero. Altimeter three zero three two. 
Simultaneous visual approach is in use, runways 28 left and 28 er. Jet air All right, tower is on. Visual approach. One, two, three, seven, four. Departing four. runways 28 left and 28 er. All right, we're going to have to wait. Adam, welcome mission. aboard. Push tank contact tank. How's it US going? Tango and Kilo requires ATC clearance. Advise. I do, I do recall you. Yes, Adam, welcome aboard. I remember you, I remember you. Brazilian, my friend. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna frequency for one two three seven seven five. Let's set that. Zero. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at five thousand. Few clouds at one zero thousand. Temperature one eight. Two point zero. Altimeter three zero three two. Okay, I just need a pen. Write down all these things. Good time to lose your pen somewhere. All right, let me get that pen quick. All right, we got the pen. Pen in the hand. Pen in the hands. Let's get the. Little thing. All right, so one, two, three, seven, seven, five, right? One more time, I'll information alpha. Later. Jet aircraft expect the mill visual approach. Departing runway two eight left and two eight. -er. Notices to air mission. Push tank contact taxiway tanko and kilo requires ATC clearance. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Alpha. All right, that's it. The Alpha. One, two, three, seven, seven, five. Wrong one. Two, three, five, three, Zulu. Seven, seven, five. Web two, eight, zero, at one, zero. Visibility, one, zero. Two o'clock. All right. Portland Tower. Good evening, uh, Frontier 2914, Information Alpha. We're right, taxi. You went to school today? Frontier awesome. 2914, Portland Tower. Thanks for Alpha. How do you hear? Bye bye, five. Frontier 2914, Roger. Uh, just getting ready to send you a PDC, and uh, would you prefer rolling 28 left or 28 right? 28 right would be preferred. Uh, for Frontier 2914, thank you. Frontier Flight 2914, Roger. Stand by just one second, I'll get you that PDC and then the tax clearance. All right. PDC and uh, taxi clearance. Let's uh, get the rest of the plane set up. Or, ladies and gentlemen, we do have uh, some flow traffic. Uh, some flow um, into uh, Ontario, so we're just waiting for ATC to uh, clear us uh, onto the runway. Uh, we should be expecting uh, leaving out of here, uh, start moving in the next five minutes. A cars, PDC. Frontier, okay. Casca 2, Chisme, okay. Right, That's good. Should have that PDC now and uh, runway 28 right. Taxi via Tango Alpha. Use caution for that Alaska A320 uh, just outside the alley. All right, well, uh, got the PDC and uh, tang taxi via Tango and Alpha to runway 28 right. I will pay attention to that Alaska 320 Frontier 2914. All right, 7,000. Park right so Tango and Alpha.
All right. Let's take this turn. Frontier, Blade 20, 14, 18, you're not Echo there, that's no problem, really. Twitch, right, text, you get Echo Alpha. Oh, apologies, I got, I thought I got on Tango, sorry about that. Not a problem. No, it did make sense, right, to to go over Tango and not. All right, we're number one probably for departure. Ladies and gentlemen, we are number one for departure. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for departure. There you go. Oh no, wait. Oh, if it's realistic. That's one thing with. And the weather. Add the. Pack the sky. So, how do you get the weather? My bad. The weather looks beautiful over here. I just wanted to give it a shot about. Um, Keep it a shot to Rex 2020. Um, wanted to see how bad or good it is. So apparently there's a new act this guy coming up. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm not sure why, but. There you go. There's a few, there's a few clouds in there. Take off config on. Frontier flight 2914, wind 280 at 10, runway 28 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 28 right, uh, Frontier 2914.
Look at the mountains over here. Take off. Wait, right, confirm on the board. Wait, right. Approach is clear, runway is clear. Okay. Uh, Seven thousand set. All good. Check. Good. Got to lock the door. Let's go ahead. Give some power. Toga. SRS. Oh, we didn't get runway. Under not V V one rotate. Pause the rate. Gear up. One, these days I've been thinking a lot I'm worried about. Flight 2914, departure is offline, frequency change approved, have a good flight. With a Unicorn, 122 decimal 8, thank you for your service, have a good night, Frontier 2914. One, two, two decimal 8, I'm gonna read your message in a second, okay? B check, flips up. One, two, two, decimal eight. All right, after check checklist. So let's go turn on some of these lights. I'll keep it on. Seven thousand. Let's go ahead to final at this point. Three seven zero. Thirty-seven thousand feet.
Voila, here we go, folks. We up and running. There you go, folks. Alright, that it's set. Let's go ahead and continue with our climb. 10,000 feet and 11,000 feet. Let's go ahead and turn up. Lighting lights. Give the signal. This day I've been thinking a lot, I'm worried my girlfriend who is 14 years old is fighting against cigarette addiction. In addition to that, she's doing self. Oh man, I, I, we, we're not just gonna, I'm just not gonna, um, say this thing just because, uh, also YouTube lives you check on those words. Um, well, I'm sorry that you're going through that. Um, you can work it together and just, you're gonna walk it walk through it together you know be there for her but also understand understand her okay that's the most important part not just uh not just like uh oh don't do it but also understand why okay because uh it's not as simple as we might think but that being said uh let's bring some positive notes into it so She's sleeping not good. All right. Let's go ahead and switch. I forgot how to get the camera views on the Latin VFR 321. There you go. You can see our airport over there. I want to hear, I want to know if the volume is too loud or not, okay? That's a, that's a good view over here. Alright, slowly making our way to uh, a look at the view of the airport on that side. Screenshot. OK, 
can't say much to her, but she goes through a lot. Red trauma, bullying, etc. I'm doing my best to, to try to. I get it. Yeah, I understand. But let's let's focus on aviation this time, okay? We're gonna on on live streams. We're gonna try to. I understand that these things happen. Love life happens, but just keep it. Let's keep it positive for the viewers and everyone. Uh, I understand as you're going through a rough patch, but um, Adam, tell us. Do you like the Frontier 321 livery, the Neo? I, I haven't seen this livery at all in real life. I didn't know even this thing existed. What do you guys think? I do find it cool. I mean, I always like the Frontier liveries with the section of the tail that represent um, an animal uh, that you can find in the States. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, the other liveries that I do like the Frontier is the... I love the manatee. I think that, yeah, the manatee and um, the rays. Those are my best. What are your Frontier's best liveries? What do you, what do you guys think? What, what's your favorite Frontier animal? I'm gonna see a couple of things here in flight services. Wait, start flight, right? I'm not sure what set floating cargo is doing. Oh, we got some bumps here. Got to we were distracted down there. Let's get this thing right. Sander. Not sure why I did it all. Oh, it did that. Let's see. I don't know. I have I haven't used this thing in a while, so. to close that floating cargo yeah she doesn't even want to close let me end it I don't know what was going on there now yeah, I understand. I understand. So I said time. Um, but what do you think about the American Retro Seven Six Seven? Are you thinking? Are you thinking about the um? Are you saying? Are you talking about the uh, which one? The um, the bare metal. Cause if, if we're talking about the bare metal, I'm a, I love it. Yes, I love the bare metal one.
Oh. Uh, when that happened. That's that's why. Okay. Thirty seven dollars. Yeah. Not sure why three eight zero, but let's do Thirty seven thousand three seven zero, that's the flight. That's the altitude. There you go. Now we're heading the right direction. For a moment, we're heading the wrong direction. <laughs> We look pretty good on turbulence. Where you at? Was that, was that a fake one? It looks like it was a fake one. good all right <laughs> i was like wondering what, what kind of traffic we're talking about we're back in track uh, okay i'm gonna turn off the seatbelt sign trying to get a a view but I can't get close to this I gotta keep it. Let's let's do this. That's a good view. I know there it's kind of lower than expected, but it's not bad. So what I'm gonna do is actually uh, okay. I know which one to press for the views. Let's have a look. Another view. Let's do that. It's crazy. The reflection don't show up on YouTube though. Sounds about right. I'm gonna do this. Selecting the views. Um gonna have to go on um uh, on flightsim.to and get the views. I thought it was a cabin view, like you could actually see the cabin on this. I thought. That was my um That's what I thought. get this view seems fine to me 
and I'll do this one folks if you're new to the channel please go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe that would be fantastic I will really appreciate your support in the channel help us grow back bring the old Avian Man channel back to life so that'd be greatly appreciated if we can do that if not just uh go ahead and watch our videos for a few more times give me give me another shot and see if we can if we can get your trust back all right i know there's a lot of options to choose from but give me another shot all right and I'm going to set this view to be uh, this one. Let's have a look if I got all the views. No, I didn't got any views. Great. Uh, let's have a look. You know what we can do? We can look over here. Let's see. What do I have? I don't remember the keyboard profile. Camera. Instruments. Uh, I think is. It's not control. Is that cockpit? There you go. Yeah. Control alt. Oh, control alt. Save it. And then, ah, uh, gotcha. Control alt. My bad. Well, I guess we'll have to redo it again. to figure out the best view somewhere I'm not sure how to get the view at this point because the uh, as you can see I guess this one will be a view. Fly guy, welcome aboard. Fly, hey, if you hope all is well, this plane honestly doesn't suck. But it's more nice now with the new cockpit from Fly by Wire. I use the FTC and salt pack for the proud Whitney engines. Oh, you do? Okay. Maybe I should check that out. Um. Right now, I, I, I'm not rocking any. I, I don't think I'm rocking the FT sim. I used to have them, but I think with the um, there's been an update. So because of the update, it probably probably the update just deleted the FT sim sound pack. Prob probably. How you been, fly guys? It's been a while. I haven't seen you here. Hope all is well.
Yeah, I don't know how to get these camera views properly. I'm just gonna go like this so far. And like a little YOLO. There you go, I'll keep that one. And I'll do this one like this. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna do it on my time off later. Another time. Not today. Because today I'm going to bed. Then tomorrow. Maybe, 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 maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow we're streaming on the Boeing 7378. Nick. John, what it? <laughs> You're watching too? Okay. Today, today we have all the big streamers though on. That's why it's a little bit slow. We got XP. There's the two more I saw. Uh, V1 was streaming before. Easy jet, easy jet, uh, sim pilot thing. He was streaming not too long ago, so and try to get the views out here. I think I got it now. I wonder if I can get this one better. Oh well, let's look outside, shall we? That's a, that's a cool view here. That's a good screenshot right there. I'd say so. This view or this view? Like this. Let's keep it like this for now. Got no ATC in the area so far until we reach LA, I believe. We're not, we're not doing bad. We're actually pretty good on time. Expected arrival. In uh, another another fourteen minutes, so I think we're just right in the middle. Let's see if I can put some tunes in. If we can, that would be great. Otherwise, we'll just we'll make our own tunes. There you go. So see, see, well, let's see tomorrow what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Let me pull the things up here.
tomorrow. Where's the, uh, this one? That's the thumbnail for tomorrow. Let's see if I can bring it up. Voila. 738 tomorrow. Ryanair. Let's, let's keep an eye on it. Tomorrow from East Midlands to Dublin. Uh, and uh, if we leave it early enough, we might be able to go back as back as well. To so just do a back and forth kind of thing. What do you think? If you come up with any other routes, uh, let me know. I would love to get suggestions for our routes. The East Midland Airport looks pretty cool, actually. I saw the... When I got it, I loaded in and I'm like, oh, that's cool. So the one thing I'm very... Not really a fan of uh, the frame generation part of uh, the DLSS, the NVIDIA DLSS. It's literally the um, the engines, the engine animation. It looks a little bit weird. Like, and I was reading on uh, Reddit that it is because of uh, it is because of the uh, frame generation. Oh, myself a water bottle before. Where is it? Here you go. Enik, are you home? Are you home? I think so. Nine ten PM, you should be home. I think you let's have a look at FlightSim.to, why don't we? Shall we? Let's have a look at FlightSim.to. See what new things we have. Well, IFB. Let's bring the IFB here. Oh, that looks cool. Now, this one, I kind of want to. I'm curious about it. You know, my love towards. Um, I have a great. I, I have a crazy passion towards turbo props. Alright, uh, flaps are good. My 4K movie of this plane. Oh, we're gonna have to watch that too. Love how toxic our community can be sometimes. Oh, Freeware Friday. Let's have a look. I love to watch this. Okay. In Eindhoven. Oh, there's a freeware. Gateway to breathtaking Whit Sunday. Island and Great Barrier Reef. I actually want to see this. Oh, not too shabby. Pretty good on the PBR material down there. I assume it comes with GSX profile. Alright, so it needs a uh, dependency. Okay. So there's two dependency, I guess. Okay. That's good. And hang glider. Oh no. We're not doing any of that. Phoenix 320 liveries. British Airways pack. And Turkish Airlines cabin. With cabin. 8K, 4K. Cool. So, quick question. You might know the answer, but we might have to look up the answer for it. And you can leave the down you can leave it in a comment down below too. Is the 8K 4K any difference if you don't have an 8K monitor? Thank you.
Sorry, the hand of God just arrived. My my version of hand of God. It's not XP's version. I don't want to take any copyright. Strike four. There you go. That's good. But anyway. Uh, yeah, if there's any difference between the 8K and the 4K. So, do you need to have an 8K monitor to rock an 8K livery? What, who have, who plays Microsoft Flight Simulator on an 8K monitor? That's what I like to know. Okay, a little tiny airport, I see that. Can I bring a private jet? Oh yeah. That's not bad, that's actually pretty good. Um, I just saw the MK Studios, uh, um, LaGuardia Airport scenery. To be honest, I do have one already, uh, from, uh, no, from um, MK Studios, someone else. Um, and I'm happy with it, so I don't need to, I really don't need to buy another one. Oh, I love these bundles. Sometimes they're, they're really convenient to have these bundles. Too bad doesn't show pictures. What airport are those? I don't know these airports. Any Alaskan over here that knows? Hold on. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I think we flew to Oran uh, or before with Tassili. I think that's with Tassili Airlines. We flew Oran. Is this free? It is. Let's see if I can bring the volume down of uh, Microsoft for a moment. the volume. There you go, that's good. I think that too loud otherwise. New release of scenery enhancements, though. No, no, they actually scenery. So I see. Okay, just scenery. Huh? What's this scenery? It does have a terminal.
does have a TSA terminal, apparently. Okay, it's in Detroit. So it's an it's a it, it is in operation. I never heard about this airport before. This is a Sun FM. Looks like the Sun FM almost. Have you guys been to Sun FM yet? Sun and Fun, not Sun FM. Sun FM used to be a radio that I used to listen to. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Herbertine, Princeton, oh, Salerno. I love these airports. Tiny. On Microsoft, we use, on uh, X Plane 11, we used to fly these tiny airports around the world. I think we flew to Zambia. I, I might, we might have flown on the, on, in here. Yeah, something tells me that I might have gone into living living. I know we flew the 767-200 variant. What if we should do more um, VFR flight stuff? I'm gonna try to do um, more VFR flights next month, probably. Try, I'll try, but um, yeah, that's not bad. Okay. I see you. This is an A319 that flies a, a non-stop from Milan to Dubai. I think it's called, uh, what is it called? I'm going to find it, but, um, I know there is. That time. We do have a CRJ too that I, need, I would like to use one day. Little COVID here though. Is the Oakland Center? Is it on? Is Oakland Center on? Denver and LA Center. LA center is on, so we probably I'm gonna have to contact um, ATC once we cross over after push. So still have a few miles to go. Wonder what uh, runway they're using into. Let's see what runway are they using into, um, wait. I think 
keep an eye on Flight Radar 24. Let's see. So we're looking into KONT, Ontario International Airport. Show a map. Let's have a look at you. Ontario, I think. Uh, me, they must be using which runway? Look at the FedEx. Got the big FedEx over here. The MD11. Another MD11? No. 763. 763 the sky van this must be no the sky van it says not 208 yes um that's uh, the fedex feeder eagle one that's police looks like something's happening on this side looks like they're on a pursuit could see all these things though oh they were over here they were searching someone over here maybe oh maybe not maybe they're just roaming around that could be too uh, oh that's my flight by the way 2914 okay <laughs> getting close to land see what they're doing okay it's easy in arrival though san bernardino airport what's what's so special here they have cargo is that cargo is that why maybe it's military cargo i don't know they do have a temperature too they even here is that delivery they deliver planes or something like that maybe because i see a bunch of planes that looks like an a340 south african airlines yeah cool well south african 340 Uniworld, never heard about them. Is that what is it? Your day. I see a KLM MD 11 over here. 7 6. Looks like a 7 6. Q400. 757. Can't tell. Air Namibia. I think that's a 7 6 7. Not in Namibia. Oh, a Delta 717 probably. Or MD80. It's a 717 by that by the look of it. This is the 320? Or 75. One of the two. That's definitely a 7.5. Yeah. Yeah, there's a two left door. You can tell from the two left door. This one does not have a two left door or not clear. So but they look similar. Anyway. Then one, that then one seven, then one seven, Delta then one seven over here. I think uh, it's like a, a station with, like, not repo station, but Upper Kirky. I think it is weird. Never seen it before. Oh, All right, Frontier, you're landing. Southwest, are you landing? Not landing in LA. I can't see any planes taking off the land. We'll have to see. Burbank. There's a lot of arrivals into here, probably. Let's see. What do you think is the airline for? 26 right, do you think so? Or 26 left? Be one way to know it. Do a sim in a sim. Have you ever done that? That's us. <laughs> that should be cool. We at uh, 2004. 
Oh, let's get the 3D view. You can tell. Looks like you're aligned with. Do you guys think he's is he aligning with? Two six left or two six right? Oh, you're descending. You're 150 over the ground. Looks like two six right to me. It's like Microsoft to be honest. That's look like Michael's flight simulator. Or like today, the guys today, if you're watching now, we're doing a simulator in the simulator. Yeah, looks like two eight right. Which is, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the same thing now when we land. so we should be expecting approach uh radar vectors for ALS approach two six left or two six right and he's going for two six right so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing looks like they're using a 321 CEO but I've seen this route going to 321 Neo he's aligning he is aligning you a bit low brother Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah. It <laughs> oh, he's in. He got the center line. Oh, he did take two six right. Uh, we will be watching. Come on, guy. My guy. Time to go. Time to leave the runway. You think he's going to take the high speed? Looks like he's going to take the high speed. No, okay. No, no. Change. Reverse. Beep, beep, beep. There you go. He did take this one, which is what? Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. He got on. Let's see if we can do the same thing. No floaties, though. No floaties. You can see probably the gate he's going to. That is cool. Infinite flight, that's what he's using. Bing maps and infinite flight. Is that infinite flight? Is it not like the the mobile app? Like a, it's kinda like a X-Play mobile, kinda like a, a simulator on your phone, something like that. I thought that's what it was. This is a really cool feature of Flight Radar 24. I believe you need to have, um, I believe you need to have the, um, gold version, but I'm not going to lie. I mean, these textures uh, look sometimes better than x 12. I believe. <laughs> so look here and. 45 minutes maybe landing soon what gate is he taking D what is it a well, very flight just landed too cool
Okay, I think I, I think I know which gate. He's gonna park on the dock. I don't think it's that accurate. Yeah, totally not. <laughs> What is this parking spot? Mary flight just landed. Cool. That's uh Beach ninety nine. So tiny. <laughs> Can't even, can't even picture it. it. Looks like an ATR to me. Yes. Getting some turbulence over here. Let me have a look at the map. Well, really, we're just passing over a lake. Just a, some clear air. Which is actually what Active Sky is going to plan to do. Bring the, um, I think they're going to try to bring, um, clear air turbulence and, uh, a radar, an actual weather radar. So. Do have an app already. Okay. Twenty nine forty. So they just landed five minutes ago. So we're trailing behind and uh what gate? What gate are you taking, my friend? Two ten, I think. I think that's what it was, two ten. They always park at 210. Okay, 210. Let's have a look. It's, let's have a look outside. Shall we? View over here. Screenshot here. You wish you bring the screenshot competition back. Just my idea. Screenshot here. There you go. Pretty good. LA Center coming up soon. Let's have a look into our Cintoq Pro for a moment. Top of the center so far out. I know Ontario is literally on a path to LA. I know that for sure. Ontario so far it's two four zero at eleven gusting eighteen. 
10 statue mile, broken 300, uh, sorry, broken 30,000 feet, glider 300, temperature 26 degrees Celsius and uh, dew point 2 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry, 2 degrees Celsius. Altimeter 2994, remark, automated, automated uh, meter, and that's it, that's all I need to know. Should do a tutorial on how to read a meter. I think this would be a cool idea. Let me see how the volume is coming up for a second. Oh yeah. All right. So once we're on the ground, we're gonna have to do the views. I'll do it tomorrow. Right? You know, I'll actually I'll do it today so that for the next Latin VFR plane, we're gonna have the views set up already. I know there was a whole thing about the CFG uh, CFG file. Is that what they call?
I've been talking to myself. I didn't notice that the thing was was muted. I turn on, I turn on the seatbelt sign because it looks a bit bumpy. And we're literally riding that coffin margin that we call it in aviation. Kind of like that coffin uh, because it's just like uh, you're super close to your red tape, but also super close to your stall speed. So um, it's that perfect right balance. Like. I just go ahead and turn on the seatbelt sign since uh, we're getting we're getting quite a bit of winds. I don't know if it's a flattened VFR issue or or what. So let me go ahead. Um see if the top of the stand will show up in a moment. Moments in it. Top of the set, 129 miles. Go ahead and do this. Make sure the flight plan is... And... Exactly what I thought. We have to do arrival. Uh, we say two six right, uh, and we are doing the Ziggy seven arrival. Let's see. Look like we all did, yeah. Ziggy seven. Approach by us. If we're gonna go ahead and look at those now, too. Two eight right. In taco. Okay, we do talk four. I think we can do truck truck go ahead. Ziggy 7. Let's have a look again at the Ziggy 7. CD. Not over PDX. Head top. High top. Needy. Ziggy. I don't see it. Faithy. I think our wave. I think it's going to take us to Faithy. So let's do Pete. There you go. Transition PT. There. Okay, let's have a look at this into plan mode. Zarti, Lando, Zarti and Lando, super close to each other. Okay, PMD, Flavor, Mayak, Hespi, I believe Hespi is called. High Top, Nidi, Unitai, Nidi, Ziggy. Petis. It's funny, Petis in Italian means like completely something different. Petis. Zeblu. And then at that point, we are on the ILS. Zeblu. And then we have Edzo. I'm looking at restrictions over here. Mandatory 3400 at Zeblu. And we got that. 
and still 3,000. Yep, we got all that. And then it goes to the constraints here. And so, and you build. Yep. All good over here on this front. Up for descending 121 miles. Pretty sure. The best view we have to be honest. Fortunately. Denver Center is online. San Diego approach. Did uh looks like LA Center went off. Which is no biggie. UPS just landed in area four. The LA center just went off. We got ATC today. Come on. We got it. Also, we haven't flown the 787 in a long time. I don't know if it was the, uh, the um, 321 Neo or the... Um, or the 350. Uh, one of the airplanes, uh, I believe it's the 350. Um, based on the winds, it will also deploy flaps a little bit uh, up in the air. Now I need to find out which plane is that. But. Keep an eye on this. Okay. Taking notes over. Uh, oh, let's refocus the approach. Why not? Oster. All right, so we're gonna take the Ziggy Seven arrival into runway two eight. Uh, sorry, two six right. Um, from over Ziggy direct to SBNDB or on the PDX uh, radial thirty to SBNDB, and then expect the radar vector for your last approach. We're just gonna go ahead on RNAV in this case. SB, which is the PTS, the uh, NDB, okay, which is our initial approach pick. All right, let's look at into the charts. Actually, do that. Let's have a look at the chart. In chart. way to get the cards out here. Mm. 
Uh, Why can I get out of this? Weird. I can't take the shards out. This again. Not this. Uh, okay. This needs to be updated. Not right. I wonder if I can select. See, no. I cannot. But um, I'm surprised that I cannot select the uh, approach card. How do I do this? I forgot. Edit. Oh, we don't need this. pin chart go here and I turn it off and start restart the tablet Interesting. Denver, Denver, Denver is on. San Diego approach is on. No one. get the I'm trying to get the uh, data though i can't get it that's weird oh we've done all this yeah let's go ahead approach barometric uh, we'll set it up in a moment auto break set in a moment and just like a second moment we'll do all that in a second but first let's uh well let's brief the approach i'm gonna read it from my charts i guess Eight is uh, the departure eight. Sorry, departure. Uh, eight is will be one two four two five. Uh, so called approach one two seven. Uh, one coming from the north northeast, uh, northeast south. No, that's not for us. So one two seven point oh. Ontario tower one two zero point six. Most probably that's gonna be our um. Also gonna be our. Not approach, but our theta frequency we'll say round one to one point nine er as always the localizer is uh, 109.7 a final approach course 258 at edso 3000 intercept the uh glide slope uh decision height is 200 actually no 200 airport elevation 944 touchdowns touchdown zone on two six right it's 932 feet um minimum sector altitude from the paradise vor we're looking at the uh, our flight comes from is in the sector between 200 and 290 degrees so it's 8900 uh feet missed approach climb 2800 feet then climb left then climbing left turn 
250 uh turn no i mean left turn to 50 400 feet direct to paradise vor and hold at paradise vor all right so basically a 2800 uh, uh climbing and then uh, 5400 direct to portland uh, no paradise vor and hold, continue hold at 5,000 to, uh, to 5,400. RMP approach GPS from tacos. Taco. Ultimate select in inches in Mercury. Transition level 180. Transition altitude 18,000 feet. All right. Anything else we need to know? Procedure not authorized for arrival uh, on uh, Paradise VOR. Airway radials. Uh, okay. We're not. That's not regarding us. Number four, mandatory 4,000 feet. What is that? Paradise VOR. Okay. Cool beans. Not 7,000 feet. Okay. Cool beans. All set. Here on the Ziggy. Seven approach. Let's have a look over here. I'm gonna grab the meter one more time. I'm gonna enter destination data as well. Let's get the meter. At two. EOC menu. Weather request. Meter. Send. Return. Received messages. The 2357. What time is it? Return. There you go. That's the one I want. This is the one I want to print. Voila. There you go. That's the one. Perfect. I can start a descent soon. GS. The performance next phase. All right, Q and H is two ninety ninety five Temperature is twenty four degrees Celsius. Winds are two five zero at twelve two five zero four slash. All right, and radio is 200. That we're looking for a speed of 142, landing speed 137. And I think we started, yep, yeah, just then. Go ahead. 14,000. That's our. Optimal descent. Descent. Nice, nice and warm. Seabill sign was already on. Hey. Darn it, B1 simulation doing the announcement for me. Q 
you know who I haven't heard in a while? Alpaca. Is that 737 uh, NG? I, I remember which. I forgot his, uh, his YouTube tag. But anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, as you, as you felt we start initial descent uh, into the Ontario International Airport. We expect to arrive in approximately 25 minutes. The weather in Ontario looks uh, sunny skies uh, with a temperature of 75 degrees. Light winds are coming from uh, the west. Uh, we're not expecting any delays uh, on to our approach into uh, Ontario. Uh, we expect to arrive at Gate, at Gate, uh, not Gate, at Gate uh, Two Ten. And now, uh, at this time, we'd like to ask our flight attendants please prepare the cabin for arrival. Looks like we had to. This guy is descending quite rapidly too. I'm gonna put 12,000 over here because I know and then the constraint is already there so we're good on that side use over here while we're landing I believe it's two turn again yes gate two turn the speed now got better we got we were quite high so we got a we got a pretty good winds actually there considering that we left a little bit behind schedule so <laughs> for a little bit descending keeping that speed everything looks good sucks that i cannot get the chart over here again all right barometric reference uh we did we have it minimum set auto break uh, well we set it on both for the moment not here not now I just love flying over this area. Just flying in Cali in general is beautiful. You got some very good scenes, very beautiful scenes of terrain uh, on uh, your overfly. The radio set 200, I see. Altitude constraint uh, at the, the. We have a one at 14,000 feet and another one. Your flavor, yeah. And another one at uh, 12,000 feet. No, actually, we don't have that. It's also time for the moment to look for that. Let's have a look at, into our frequencies properly. Uh, 
Do I see it off? Uh, okay, let me see. I'm thinking one to zero point six. Yeah, one to zero point six. Let's set that one up too. Okay, one to zero over here and six. We'll be live for two hours and 21 minutes. Makes sense. Landing in approximately 20 minutes. Perfect timing. We got some good sunset almost views. Over Palmdale VOR. Entire traffic uh, frontier 2914. Airbus 321 Neo. Passing uh, level 180 for, 14, 000, for 15,000 feet. On the Ziggy 7 uh, arrival. Just passing over Palmdale. Ontario traffic. Okay, so we did say. Uh, let's see, me just are... Alright, 260 at 11 actually. And let's just change. Uh, let's change this too. Into 2996. Two nine one six, and that's equal to one, one 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 zero one five. All right, that is set. Across, all good. Beautiful view here. That's the beauty of flight of Microsoft. Don't let me just say this.
get a nice cinematic view. I want to take a screenshot here like this. The golden hour. Get a cinematic view like this. Gorgeous. We should concentrate on flying 14,000 feet. Yo, did you bust it through? You busted through the restriction. Oh, not turbo jets. That's not for us. I was looking at flavor 11,000, but it doesn't say it's a turbojet at 250 expect 14,000 feet. Oh, that's us. Huh. Do we bust it through? I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. Uh, on this on this plane a little bit. Should be able to see the airport by the way. Well, no. Not. That's so cool over here. I have to keep an eye on this altitude, but I don't like that. That she's going that low. Minimum sector altitude is 8,100 feet here. Oh, 
Oh, it looks beautiful though. What a scenic arrival. Okay. Bit Easter, we want to be at. Mandatory 3400. Let's do that. Coming in. We know 5,000 and we're going to start making call into the seat uh, frequency. Let me look at, is anyone on, this, on uh, the area's traffic? Traffic on the ground. Yeah. Oh, we need to go down. Is it me or the airport is right there? Maybe we had to follow. Yeah. Maybe we were. Maybe I should have trusted the plane. I was not expecting to be that quick though. My misjudgment. Sorry, my mister. One, two forty six, big check. They blue actually. Uh, San Bernardino traffic, Cessna Zero Golf Sierra departing runway two four uh, at uh, Alpha Two. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are a little bit close to the ground, but we're good. Very close to the ground. 
one thing I forgot to do. Well, guys, you can see the houses. Cool. Got a view of the runway. What I'm going to do also is start the replay mode. And record this. Okay, so we got one auto marker, 3,400, let's go down to 3,000. Two brakes arm, auto brake set to medium. Turn on the camera. There you go. Approach mode engaged. Fly slope intercept a little bit higher. Get up. Coming in fast. gonna start binging soon okay have it advice recording is happening oh darn it one two zero one six right there are traffic uh Frontier 2914, it was 321 Neo on a short fi 5 miles final, ILS runway 26 right, Ontario traffic. Back. We check. Okay. We only eleven four knots. My aircraft. These lights are too bright on the runway. Check. On the dot, on the dots. Check. You need to use that light slope a little bit. Winds have shifted.
Okay, sticks enough. Manual braking. Entire traffic uh, frontier 2914 uh, vacated runway 26 right uh, on Lima. Be taxing to Terminal 4 via November and Uniform November 1. Ontario traffic. Oh, Alright. Go ahead and get the airplane cleaned up. If you. Oh, landing there. Oh, that was good. That was a good landing. Get GSX well. Get gate. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. That was a beautiful landing, folks. Would you rate the landing? Let's see landing rate also. Oh, it took a, did it record? Yes, it recorded. Uh, if you start. Park brakes on. Park brakes are on. If you if you bleed, if you is available and is running. All right, engine shut down. Engine number two. Engine number one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Continue. And then the lights. Beacon lights off. It was good. That was good. That was a good landing. I want to see on the landing rate machine here. What? What is this guy saying? Two hundred one. Perfect score. One thirty five, which is landing speed one one thirty seven. Each angle of uh, five. Uh, Nice. Love it.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Oakland. We have a few plane landing. Let's see. There's one over there. I think he's passing by over right now. Let's see who that is. I'm curious to know. Let's see. Anyway, that was good. Let's have a look. Maybe like this. Uh, we're going to wait a little bit to deep plane and then. Uh, By the way, this looks so realistic. The view from uh, the from the airport looks pretty realistic. Okay, so let's complete the flight over here. Complete flight. Two or five flight time. Nice. Nice. Let me disconnect from Vatsim. Let's close this guy over here. And I'm gonna also stop the recording. Save it just in case. This is gonna be FFT. Two, six, right. All right. As soon as we're done uh, deep boarding over here, we're going to go ahead. And this plane is being packed. 240 people. Well, Frontier, I think, carries uh, carries enough people like that. The landing was pretty good. We touched down a little bit further down than I expected. But we did take Lima. Uh, what I wanted to take was Quebec. Like the other plane. Like uh, the real Frontier Flight 2914 got off got off in Quebec um that's pretty good still so I guess the approach um brings you pretty low to the ground uh at the beginning because uh when we were looking at that um into the arrival I was like man there's there's mountains up here Because uh, right when we started our turn into the airport, we were 27 miles at that point from uh, from Ontario. So, well, you know, good to know. Captain K, welcome aboard. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Good to have you on board. Doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Uh, we just arrived into um, Ontario. And we're going to do our replays, the avio replays, in a moment. As soon as uh, they're done over here, boat loading and uh, unloading the aircraft. Good to have you on board, Captain K. Thanks for stopping by. Once again, folks, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe. You can find the link in the description below for our Discord channel as well. Join us to keep you up to date on when it's going to be our next stream. And uh, use a photo gallery to uh, show some of your latest pictures on your sim or in real aviation today we did not use the um eye beam tracker uh couldn't get it to set up i'll set up for the for the next flight tomorrow tomorrow we'll be flying uh ryanair from east midlands to dublin and hopefully back give us a good time on the 738 have some fun in time, I'm gonna turn off this. We don't need this anymore. Let's, let me take care of that. Voila. That it's set. 
How many bags do we have, sir? How many bags do we still have on board? Load it up. Everyone has a deplane, I think. Well, almost everyone. Is this jet bridge uh, one of those? Not. No. To interior internet. Uh. So there is a way to get this views. It just. We'll have to find. We'll have to find to get that. How to get that view though. I'm gonna have to watch. I think uh, XP72 has a video about it. Frederick the Bold Eagle. Meet Frederick the Bold Eagle. Powered by Brad Whitney. I wonder if this plane actually exists. That's what I'm wondering. Can anyone Google it? There you go. I think we're done. She is done. Now those, those cargo doors close a bit too fast. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. We will be in the next one to lose some cargo panels, uh, door panels in the air if they drop like that, actually. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's see if I can turn up GSX. Go back inside. I want to do a couple, do a couple of checks over here. Uh, four doors closed. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a replay, shall we? Go ahead, load this replay. And it's uh, where you at? This one right here. Replay. And I'm going to go back in time with just a tad. Turn off the map. We don't need the map as well. Let's get the views and get some music, some tunes on a little bit.
Not sure why the uh, flaps are not extending. for a second I want to get closer That was beautiful. That was a beautiful landing. Oh, wow. Let me do this. Oh, let me do something. Play here for a second. What should I let me start the end because I think that's the thing too. Let me start up the engine because I think that's the issue with the replay. Yeah. Let me let me, let's start every time. We have to start with the engine running. That's the thing. That's how the flaps also get extended as well. start this engine number two But as it started, we're going to do the actual replays. But what time is it? Okay, so we got both engines started and let's do a replay. I'm gonna go bring this one up here. 
come on down here and replay there you go Beautiful view over here. Let's do let's have a look at these replay. Maybe on the other side so we can see the mountains. Lightning was beautiful. place and it gets the views all righty see the winds shifted last minute because we were online and then all of a sudden we're like no we're not Ouch. There you go. It's a good landing. I'm going to do one more. Let's have a look. Let's look at the mountains. Not the best view, but no, it's not the best view because uh, of the because of the windows being a little bit messed up, but. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our last replay. As always, please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. Join us on Discord. We're going to be live streaming tomorrow again. It's going to be a little bit earlier than today. We're going to be back in Europe on the 737-800 on the Ryanair livery, flying from East Midlands to Dublin and back, hopefully. Once again, after this landing, please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe and join us on Discord. Link in the description down below. Alright folks, thanks you thank you so much for tuning in on tonight's live stream. Once again, as always, be kind to one another one another. Keep watching our channel, keep uh, pushing forward, uh, and as always, uh, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. If your man is out, good night everyone.